Hello, everybody up on Groovy Gypsy Tarot. 777. Yes, I put it back. <laughs> Groovy Gypsy Tarot, 777. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is where you are at, whatever day it happens to be where you are at, depending on your location around the world. You know, I'm always happy to see you guys here. Um, this particular daily, I'm using the Divine Animal. I felt very compelled to use this deck for today's reading. And let's see what we get. Elephant Leadership. Wow, I'm having trouble splitting this deck for some reason. There we go. The Watcher. Okay, let me just stop right there before I even take any more cards. So normally when we have the Watcher come out, the Watcher is related to um, spiritual, spiritual guidance and direction, right? Where... Um, our dream team, many of you who've been with me for a long time, we all together came up with the name Dream Team, uh, not that it's unique or anything, um, to signify spirit guides, past on loved ones, that sort of thing that would be coming into our readings. However, when this card of leadership came up, I could not help but stare at these eyes that are in the very back of, of this. We see this woman looking over... Ganesh here and it felt as if perhaps there was some sort of micromanagement or some sort of situation in which you feel that you are constantly being scrutinized constantly under um you know direct supervision it's almost like you you feel the sense of suffocation because the powers that be, whomever they might be in your workplace, um, are constantly checking up on you, constantly watching. It's almost like they're looking for a problem. Let's see what else we get. Fruit bat, um, this particular one. I need my glasses. <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. As I, I get my reading glasses on. Okay, kindness. Reciprocity. And wisdom. All right. Yeah, I'm feeling this um, strong sense that someone is feeling a really intense pressure in the workplace. And with the honeybee, honeybees often represent work, right? Here it's representing rec reciprocity in this particular deck, but they represent work. Work, 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 no play. And then here's the owl seeking wisdom. And so I feel that um, at least one of you, if not many of you, are currently dealing with a workplace situation in which you feel very much under constant supervision, constant watch, although you've been kind to somebody that um, um, often doesn't allow you to sh allow it to be seen that you're showing this kindness, you know, I mean, Bats are often outside of our, our realm of visibility, usually, because they're hanging from above. And so there's this essence of you needing to be kind to someone in need. However, when you show this kindness, it's like the powers that be are not there to see. However, in the spiritual realm, they are. They see right? They they see what's going on. They your spirit guides see what's going on. They see the potential here of an, another person um, scrutinizing your every move, right? And there's this constant focus from the workplace of work, 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 but you may not be receiving time off. You may not be receiving breaks. You may not be receiving your just due. In some way, 
there's a lack of reciprocity with regards to the situation because there's this intense micromanagement. And it looks like here somebody is um, being sheltered from the storm, yet they are unaware of this. It would appear that someone feels they're being watched because they are perceiving that they've done something wrong. But really what this potential, potential uh, powers that be are noticing is they are noticing your kindness. They are noticing your hard work. They are noticing that perhaps you're giving more, working more, doing more than the other worker bees. And I see this sense of shelter. There's a sense of shelter here within the owl's wings. There's this sense of shelter here from the storm, from the rain. There's also this sense of shelter in the snow leopard looking over you. So I feel that this this particular um, this particular manager, this boss, this leader in the environment is actually sheltering you and protecting you from some sort of negativity. It almost looks like this person wants to see in some way you receive what it is that you are deserving of receiving in the workplace. Does that make sense? And so we have a situation here in which it feels uncomfortable for you. Yes. There may need to be more wisdom obtained. Yes. You may need to learn a new skill set. Yes. There is more work coming. Yes. But it does not appear that you're being observed because you're doing anything wrong. It appears that you're being observed because you're being admired for your hard work ethic and for the way that you treat other people, whether that's customers, whether that's, you know, other coworkers, whatever the case may be. We see admiration from the powers that be, yet they cannot express it. So instead, you're being somewhat sheltered. You're protected. In some way, you're protected. So um, this looks really fantastic. I think I'm going to leave it there. Change your mindset because uh, all that you're doing that's good and well and just and filled with integrity is being seen by those that it, it matters to. All right. Love and light to you. I'll see you again soon. Ta-ta for now.